Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, so here we are today, another episode of the uh, FIFA career mode. This time we're doing episode two of the FC Barcelona. So let's jump right into it. Um, I haven't actually played any any of the game since uh, the last stream. Uh, the as far as like playing matches uh the one thing that i did do off stream was that um i actually went through the roster and just looked at the players looked at their stats and um hey what's going on junior hey good to see you man uh so i haven't pretty pretty much haven't done much but um you know i haven't played any matches what i did got the chance to do was I did ended up going through the uh, the roster just to look at the uh, the players uh, you know their stats and hey, you're back huh <laughs> man I was a heartbreak heartbreak I'm telling you heartbreak it was uh, I, I can I could barely just watch it it was just such a disaster of a game you know and um, you know the fact that we're out a hundred percent out <laughs> you know um, uh, in, a, in a way I was a, a bit confused because I was like well wait a minute what if PSG loses the game today you know uh, I mean they played yesterday but you know what happened with the whole um, you know incident with the racism incident so they ended up you know walking out and I think they're playing again today but no matter what the results um, I initially thought that if PSG would have lost if they were tied um, because Man United had um, the goal difference they had higher goal difference that they would have gone through but that's not how it's played so you know unfortunately it's based on one-on-one -on -one. so they scored more goals than us on PSG in the group so therefore they go they go forward even if they lose the game so but man yeah I was it was it was sad it was definitely sad um, <laughs> there's nothing I can say about you know nothing more I can say because it's just just horrible you know Juan Bisaka did poor uh, poorly on defense you know and uh, Maguire you know he did poorly on defense too so and uh, you know, also on top of that, the fact that Pogba, there was like this little controversy just even before the game about, you know, he's done with the club, you know, like I've heard that before, but to do it now, like just before the game, that's like bring, bring morale down like big time. So, and, uh, you know, so it, yeah, it was sad, man, real sad. So. Ronaldo Caleb, thank you, man. Hey, thank you for being here in the channel, and of course, Junior. I know that you you you've been here since day one. Always found, you know, always uh, in the channel. So appreciate it. Um, so yeah, it was it was a it was a heartbreak for sure, you know. But the only thing that at least gives me a little glimmer of hope is you know the fact that we're gonna go into the uh, Europa, you know, league, and I, yeah, I was watching the Lazio game before, yeah, Barcelona game too, yeah, yeah, and, uh, hopefully with, when we go to the Europa League, uh, the, you know, the only thing that I'm looking forward to, hopefully, is to play against Tottenham, you know, because they need, an, they need an ass whooping, and <laughs> hopefully we can give it to them. So we'll see, but uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough too. But um, well, we'll see. And then of course, you know, on uh, we on this weekend, it's not it's not gonna get any easier because we go up against uh, Man City. So yeah, so that's gonna be tough. So here we are with Barcelona FC and or FC Barcelona, and uh, I pretty much just kind of just skim through the players just to see you know who who, who we have because I was a little bit unfamiliar 
with uh, Barcelona and uh, you know just going through find out what we might need what formations I should play with them and you know looking through the roster and it's it's just so different than you know playing in the you know with with the team that I'm used to playing the career mode which is Manchester United and they have they're so heavy with the center mids and you know of course they have a lot of left wing and right wings uh, um, so yeah so you guys need to win the states yeah correct correct also on the chat I added um in the in the the video I added the a, a box for um, for chat and the reason for is because since I chat with the you know I talk with the chat so much sometimes that um, if when it when it is recorded um, it won't go into the video when it's uploaded into YouTube so that's the reason I put it in there so people can actually see what we're talking about you know for cam yeah suggestions are welcome so so awesome um, and uh, definitely uh, I I'm probably are gonna get a cam um, but I tell you right now right now I'm looking to sell a lot of players um, a lot of the old players you know we have a lot of PK Busquet you know we have Alba um, Messi I know I know this is Messi's team you know everybody wants to see Messi play so um, I'm not gonna s try to sell Messi right away like but I am gonna basically not block him from going into the transfer market or for somebody to acquire you know inquire make an inquiry if the inquiry is good and I feel like somebody is gonna give me lots of money then I'm gonna end up um, selling Messi um, so that's just some of the things the okay gotcha I'll look him up for when I when I do the the purchases for cams so uh, the team let's see who we have um, we're gonna try to keep like Neto uh, we're gonna keep Turk Stingen and we're gonna I'm gonna try to just sell Pena Alba I don't think um, let me see Alba no we're gonna uh, let me see the Alba that I put no so Alba I leave him pretty much uh, blocked because I there's only two left backs and two right backs in each position uh, two right backs and two left backs and then there's only one player that center back that can sub for both positions so basically I am gonna leave um, Alba and I'm gonna leave Firpo in here and I'm sorry if I say the wrong name the if I m mispronouncing the names just because I don't you know play with them so much um, and of course uh, then we have let's see so um, as a matter of fact I have the we'll go into the menu here the transfer hub because it's already done in the for transfer hub so all right so we're blocking Neto uh, Moriba Firpo let's see this guy I'm keeping because of the fact that he's so versatile with he can play cam center defensive mid and oh the, the the formation that I'm I'm running okay so before I get to how why it is that I'm getting rid of some of the players is I am going to be running a 4231 I don't normally do it I like to do two can two uh, strikers in the front but because of the league and because you know I want to be able to go and hopefully win the Champions League I want to be able to play a little bit defensive more defensive and I feel that 4-2-3-1 I will get success and worst case scenario that I need to score a goal I'm losing a game then I'll go 4-3-3 but I am not gonna play 4-2-2 4-2-2 because of the fact that I would need two strikers and then two cams and the players that I have in the team in the club it just it won't happen there's too many left wings too many right wings so it, the formation won't work even as it stands with uh, 4231 you literally have to you're playing pos uh, players out of position for example Dembele you know he plays right wing left wing you you're gonna play him left mid 
and also right mid for like Messi. And w with some of the younger players, uh, then I'll be able to hopefully convert them into either left mid or right mid. And also converting some of the CMs into camps. So, and then for strikers, I, I'm not really worried because I got Griezmann and then Martinez. And then, of course, Messi. He's also a striker. And uh, so, so, and so, so we'll deal with that. And any cam I can convert into a striker, too. So uh, that's pretty much the formation that I'm running. Okay, so now that leads to who I'm getting rid of. And uh, all right. So now on the transfer, okay, we're, I'm blocking pretty much the, why is it in order? Oh, here it is. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, okay, so on striker, on, on goalkeepers, I'm blocking both the best uh, goalkeepers that the team has, and I'm going to put on the transfer market, Pena, he's, his potential is shit, so, and he's a young striker. I'm just trying to make some money. I think I could I could do it too. Uh, even when I'm playing the other career modes, I normally don't use more than two, so that's totally fine. Blocking Dest uh, in right back and also Roberto blocking him because that's the only two run right backs. Um, I'm blocking uh, Araujo, Araujo, Araujo. I'm blocking him, or I uh, know actually he's gonna be on the transfer market. Uh, and again, this is like potential, uh, and I can get some money. This thing, he's not. I'm not gonna get much money, but if I if I lose him, okay. If I don't, okay too. PK PK. I I really hope that I sell him because he's worth a lot of money. Uh, block Linglet. I blocked um, Tweedy. Uh, Minguesa. I kept Minguesa. His potential is not that great, but he can play right back, left back, and center back. And hopefully I can get a center back that can play right back, uh, like Mikaeli, uh, or somebody else that can play left back or right back. And uh, Jordi Alba, I'm gonna keep him because of course there's only two left backs, so blocked and blocked. Um, Busquet, I am gonna, I, I am gonna put him on the transfer market. He's worth a lot of money. He's old. He's slow too. His pace is horrible, and I feel like he should have been sold. Like when they sold uh, Vidal and um, you know Suarez, and you know like that. When when they did that whole exchange, I feel like he should have been also one of the players to been you know um, transfer out of the club to bring like new younger guys that are pacier. Um, and then Busquet also, I am also gonna sell the younger the younger one here because he doesn't really have a lot of potential. And uh, the one that's definitely gonna get blocked is gonna be the young, uh, young player, good potential, good pace. Uh, and mainly, I'm going to develop him into a center defensive mid and change his work rate to be um, high. Because right now he won't go forward; he'll just kind of like linger in the mid field and I want him to eventually go forward. Now with some of the instructions that I put in in the in the formations, I have him going forward, like intentionally like forcing him to go forward to make uh, create plays and create chances and stuff. Um, blocking Poing and he's gonna be converted into a cam, even though he's CM cam, I'm, I'm trying to put him as just cam. Uh, uh, Pianic, Pianic, I am actually putting him on the transfer market because he's a center mid, not because he's not good, because he is good and he just got here this year, but I can't convert him into anything. I can't turn him into a center defensive mid, so every time I'll play him, basically I'm playing him out of position, and um, I can get somebody in center defensive mid for the amount of money that he costs. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some money either to get Conte or to get Zakaria from, uh, so, you know, as a, as a true center defensive mids. Um, so here we go, we got transfers. All these guys are basically either low potential or they just don't fit in the team. Center mid, right, 
um, transfer, transfer. Uh, Moriba, again, this is a multi uh, player that can play multiple positions. Cam, center, defensive mid. Uh, Pedri, blocked. A uh, good potential player. Um, Coutinho, he's blocked too. Uh, because he, he's going to be kind of like my cam, my go-to guy. He can play left wing or left mid. He'll, he'll mainly basically stay cam. Uh, let's see. Transfer on Pereira. Blocked on Dembele. And Dembele, I have him to be converted into a left mid. Uh, we'll see how long that takes. Uh, and whether or not he can stay in that position with just uh, right wing or left wing. Uh, Trink Trinkau, he is also going to be, uh, I believe i actually going to just turn him into a cam. S or, yeah, so he's kind of like Messi's or a right mid because of the fact that he will sub in for Messi. And then, of course, we're keeping Martinez that we just got in, we're going to block. And Griezmann, we're going to block. And these uh, left wing, or this striker's, they're kind of just basically shit. They're going to get transferred. Hopefully, somebody will buy him. Uh, uh, Asufati, he, he's a great player, great potential. Um, and he is blocked too. And he's, I'm turning him into a left mid. Transferred, and these guys loaned. This is the only loan that I have. Actually, I don't even know why he's on loan. I'll probably put him as a transfer too, maybe later. So, All right, so that's that. Um, for right now, we have on the transfer targets, we have two center defensive mids, Conte and Zacharia. And I will add, uh, so both, let's see, so both, yeah, don't even know how to say it, but I'm going to go ahead and look for him. Actually, hold on, before I look for him, let me make sure that I have everybody, um, my, my global, my global list here. Okay, all instructions are off. Um, this guy right here, he is going to get fired because he has uh, four stars. We don't want any four stars in our club. All right, and we're gonna see. Can we hire somebody? Pablo Navarrete. Navarrete. We got him. Let's see. Can we hire somebody else? James Walter, it's another five star from Germany. We'll do that. Um, so right now we have somebody in Spain, Germany, Germany, and we're gonna send somebody over to the UK um, just so they can be there in the. Damn it. Okay, so we're gonna send somebody up there basically to make it easier for scouting later. So we got Spain going to the UK, Germany. We're going to go to uh, Italy. Uh, where is it? Right here. Okay, Italy. And then we're going to leave one free. All right, now we're going to search for players. This are, these are all basically you guys. You know, whatever you guys tell suggest that I should get on the team. Um, this is a cam. Um, I'm going to look at the priority for what I'm getting here. So, so bull. There we go. Dominic, 19 years old cam. Okay. Nice. RB Salzburg. And we're going to go ahead and add somebody there. We're going to put him on a short list. All right, so he's going to get scouted six days. We'll see how that turns out. Hopefully hopefully good. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do real quick, we're going to go to the Youth Academy. And, yeah, actually, I haven't, I haven't, this is the guy that we supposedly was fucking awesome and had great, great potential, but he's like 89. And uh, to be honest, he, he, he looks like doo-doo. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't even keep him, but I'm going to keep him in there because he's not hurting anybody. Um, all right, then we're going to try to see if we can do one more here, which we can't. Okay, we're going to set up two networks. We're going to set up the, my favorites, 
Oh shit. Fuck that up. Oh, they were already, they were already setting up. My bad. <laughs> Messed that up. Okay, so yeah, he should have stayed. Basically, one Brazil, one Argentina. Technically lifted. See how that goes. And then the other guys kind of just basically like a wild card. You know, last time Junior suggested that I send a guy over to Netherlands, and that actually turned out pretty well because I got a striker all out of there. So, um, and of course, you know, our freaking objectives are wildly fucking just way too damn high. We got like two players from the youth academy. That's not that bad, but some of these are like right here, like win the league, win the cup. Win fucking, <laughs> win the, uh, uh <laughs> win the league, win the cup, win, win everything. Just fucking, you can't lose. And also three hundred thousand dollars, like three three hundred million dollars, which is ridiculous. So hopefully, us selling a lot of players will will do good. Don't send them to Peru anymore. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> uh, gotcha, man. Yep. Can't hardly see the chat. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit there. You can see it. All right, so we'll get that once you're in game. You can see the chat a little better because of the background. All right, so I think we're good right now with everything. Um, there's nothing. There's really nothing to do with this menus. Everything. Everything straight. Um, well, I'll, I'll show you one last thing, which is the four three three. What I'm doing here. Balance five five balance. Five five three three, and we have uh, basically stay central, get in behind. Uh, the cam's gonna be. At, this is just like the mid, like the mid regular play. You know, get into the box for crosses. Um, what else? All right. So then these guys are my style of a gameplay. With any left mids or any left wings, it's always going to be cut inside, get into the box, get in behind, all that, all that shit, just to basically like create more chances in the middle since I don't have the two center the two strikers in the middle I'm gonna try to bring those guys in and create chances through the middle instead of playing wide um, I don't like to play it wide too much I'll play it wide if I'm on defense because I'll keep the guys in position um, don't send them yeah what's going on Allison um, so we, we're basically gonna keep these guys you know Get into the box, cut inside. Again, get into the box, get in behind, cut inside. And then we're going to keep, uh, you know, one guy, uh, cut pat. both of them always cut passing lanes, one going forward, one staying behind, uh, you know, stay back while attacking, overlap. Uh, everything's good. We're just uh, kind of just closing out the uh, last little bit before the... Um, you know, before we go into the game here, so yeah, Busquet. No, he's. I got him on the. Th there's a yeah. I I'm gonna get him out of there. I'm not gonna put him in there for this game. Get and Didi. Yeah, uh, yeah. I actually for Manchester United when I did the last one, I got Ndidi. So I'm. I won't get Ndidi, but I will get. I will try to get either Conte or Zakaria. And Busquet, right now, I'm not going to start him. I am going to put in the other uh, pod project. I'm going to put him in for Busquet because he's a little pacier than him. And then, uh, you know, stay back while attacking overlap and so forth. If And then everything else like ultra, then it would be like everybody stay in position. You know, don't cut inside. And then, of course, ultra attacking the 4-3-3. That's like if I'm losing. And, you know, everything is... You know, fast build up, constant pressure, and then I got uh, pretty much, you know, join the attack because basically we're losing. Like, you know, everybody getting behind, all that. I do have these guys on free roam, the cam, and getting behind and free roam. Thank you. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe Kimish. Yeah, Kimish. He's actually pretty decent. Absolutely. Yeah, he's nice. He's nice. Actually, you know what? Let me put him on the. Let me put him on that list to see what Kimish too. I didn't think about him. Shit. Good looking out. That's another one. 
Boom. All right. So we're, we can keep down the back burner. But honestly, right now, I like um, Kimish is nice. He's he's expensive though. I definitely can't afford that. So we're going to do it. Let's see what we got. All right. So Zacharia. Boom, boom. What's he got? 129. Holy shit. No way. I can't afford that. But I can do him. And I might be able to. I, I Conte and Zacharia. Or either Kimish and Zacharia. But I can't do Conte and Kimish. They're just way, way too much money. Look at him. Holy shit. Look at all the freaking traits he's got. Damn. Young player, too. Holy shit. Pretty good there, Junior. Thanks. All right. So, we're going to go in and we're, we're still playing the the little league. You know, the the little, um, uh, was it the cup? You know, the international cup. So, uh, you should get the pie at the end of the, Yeah, we'll try that, too. We'll try that. All right. So right now we got PK. He's basically, let's see. Leicester City has expressed an interest in signing PK for 41. That makes me happy. That makes me real happy. And to be honest, I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to fight him. I'm just going to try to get the money. Um, You know, that's right, right there, the level. Because, you know, we're not going to really use him. Uh, this guy, he's saying, I'm glad that you decided to put me on sale, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Glad we agree. Glad we agree. All right. Next one. We got, damn. I didn't think we had that much. Oh, shit. Okay, so this guy again, he's, uh, let's see. Now that you've changed your mind about loaning me out, after I hope you change your, well, I didn't change, change in my mind. Wait a minute. I thought, oh yeah, <laughs> okay. So I didn't basically, I changed my mind in loaning him out because I actually changed my mind to put him on the transfer list. <laughs> I was gonna be like, what the heck? Did I fuck that up? I know I didn't mess that up. Let's see. Who's get? Where are you? Want that one? Who's get? Who's get? Yeah, I put him on the transfer list. I'm just making sure I didn't lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, oh yeah the pie's gonna be free at the end of the season definitely man I need to snag him up alright so I'm just gonna put let's see maybe uh, don't make me regret no I'm just gonna put nobody wants to sit on the bench I'm, I'm not really this guy you know alright let's see change your mind about oh my god these guys are gonna start losing morale everywhere Okay, don't make me regret the decision. I'm just going to go like this, just to basically bring the morale the morale up. But they, they are on the transfer list. Because initially I did put them on loan. And they're kind of talking out of place here. Um, yeah. Now this guy, yeah, definitely Busquet. I can't say that I'm more happy. Um, and I honestly, I think it's the best thing for you, man. You got to go. Um... And we're going to put this guy, too. He's, uh, all right. So there we go. We're good. And here we go. If my audio is not working properly, just let me know because I'm always messing with it. And uh, just to make sure that you guys can hear the game, can hear me. And, uh, oh, I like the black kit. The, the dark kit is awesome, man. I really like the... Yeah, they did a good job. Here we go. Alright, so again, I don't have the music of the game because of the fact that it, they, YouTube likes to shit on me all the time the if I play even like a tune or something like that. So, with, me in the with the copyright. Is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we have more live action from the preseason second group stage. Oh, yeah. I actually didn't do it. I left Busquet in there. Fuck me. Let's do this. This is the one I wanted to do. So the young's already pissed off because he's out of he's out of place. So he's minus one. It's West Ham he's United center mid, uh, defensive mid. Yeah, both teams with one eye on those knockout stages now. 
looking to get three points on the board today maybe only pre-season but let's not forget there's silverware to be won a cup's at the end of this <laughs> and then and you the have Sonic freaking West Ham playing West like Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands like between the posts. Uh, Pablo Fornals Liverpool. plays with Andriy Yarmolenko out wide, and the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Anel. And they changed the. This is um, also the first game that this I is played what we after the patch. From the so um, I don't know how the difference Samuel in the starts game play. alongside Clément so Langlais in the center of defense. Let's and see. Do you think you could turn down the commentary? Oh yeah, for sure. So we'll go ahead like this. Turn it down just like that. All right. So I came down about 50% over here. You tell me if that's still a bit too loud or if it's not. Leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. All right. How's that working out now? How, how's that? How's the uh, sound on the game? Is it better? Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball, he links play from left to right, up and down the pitch. He keeps possession, a brilliant player. For now, able to deal with the threat. Oh, that's damn. That was all size. Fuck. It's, it's weird trying to get a feel for the players, you know, like brand new, you know, the way they move and, uh, you know, how good they are, you know. Messi. Messi. He continues his run. And Lionel Messi has turned infield. Oh, shit. Oof. Martinez. Martinez already. Already showing showing good promise. Oh man, that was a good good uh good one from Coutinho there. That was a that that was a bit of a shitty um shot on goal, not for nothing, but you know. He made it. So I know last time I started started him, uh, I played him on the first game, and that was actually a tough game. Um, he he didn't uh, he didn't score. Oh, that was inside the box. I knew it. I knew it. You can see that shit a mile away. <laughs> Damn. Fucking messy. Only thing he needs to do is fucking close line him. Gotta see. Last time Messi was when I tried to shoot the thing on goal, it wasn't so accurate. I was. Oh yeah, you see, I knew it. Yeah, his his circle the, is not super c concentrated. It's more open uh, than other players that I've used. If he would have gone to that side, he would have blocked it. It's going that way, two nil. Said Ben Rama. Have they given him too much space? The meticulous polisher of his defensive game, Yannick.
Barca to make sure possession changed hands. And it's through here. Oh my god. That was so good. Oh my goodness. What a freaking interception. But then again, I am playing fucking West Ham, so. I do have to say, you know, playing with Barcelona now and comparing them to playing a season with the, these guys are definitely, uh, they feel, they feel a bit, bit better. They feel, uh, oh shit. It's like that's like messy side. <laughs> Said that whole entire side of the freaking pitch. It's like if you're not covering Messi. Fucking murdering them right now. <laughs> Straight up. I guess this this <laughs> something like this will actually happen at West Ham if they fucking play Barcelona. Also, I'm Tweety, he's so good. He's a, he's such a good player, you know. He, the only thing that always has me worried about him is that he's got that damn injury trait. <laughs> uh, but I mean, personally, I've never had any any injuries with him, you know. Oh shit. I gotta look back. So I got the damn the dogs over there freaking sleeping on the sofa. And normally he's not there in that spot. Okay, so we did we're doing good so far. Um Alright, so we're gonna put in uh let's see. We're gonna put in uh Griezmann for Martinez. And I, um, this season, I'm definitely trying not to get the freaking strikers uh, hurt. Uh, last season, it was a disaster. Had uh, Rashford out for four months with uh, Manchester United. That was that was not good. 
Well, let's do this. Let's, let's take out Messi, put Trinko in, and we'll put um, Ansu Fati also on the other side. We're going to just get a chance for them to go up on form. He is young, so it's all right if he lost the ball. Vladimir Kuba. Yamarenko. And the throw in it's going to be. Oh, shit. Oh man, that was that was that was supposed to be a through pass to Ansu Fati. Oh my goodness. No, that looked so good, too. Can't believe it. So Haller Antonio came in. It's a good striker. We just came out of fucking nowhere. And Tidi. Tidi, yeah. And Tweedy. <laughs> Griezmann. Oh man, he moves so good too. Oh my god. Did you see that fucking header? Holy shit. That's a fucking like Avani fucking header. Wow. That was nice. That was great. Clean cow. Wow. Good job on him. That was such a good goal. He's young too, shit. Oh shit. I messed that up. And give it away. Yamalenko. Antonio. Antonio. 
Oh shit. Oh damn. So today, uh, today at seven, is it today at seven? Uh, oops. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 comes out. So that's going to be, that's going to be good. I definitely 100% want to stream it. Um, but I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know whether, um, it's going to play. Um, good enough to stream. You know, I don't have one of the best computers, but uh, I mean, I do have a good graphic card, but uh, or decent enough. But we'll see if I'm able to stream it while maintaining some kind of decent quality. And uh, you know. I could put it on for you guys. Oh shit. But definitely looking forward to that. Even though it's been getting kind of like mixed reviews a little bit. Because of the some bugs or whatnot. They still they still give it a good rating. Oh shit. That would have sucked if it was an on goal. Oh my god. These guys are just, the passes are just so freaking great. They're just so good on the passes. Oh my god. They got in the way of each other. Well, that's a bit ridiculous to make a change in the fucking plus one. Yeah, it was. It was delayed. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be out last last month. Um, nah, long ago, and then it got you know pushed back, and that wasn't the first time it got pushed back. But it's here. You know what I mean? So. That's that's good. All right, so that was a good game, <clears throat> and it kind of, I think that game, rather than the first game, this game kind of gave me a little bit more of an idea on how the team work can work together. Um, so that was that was um, that was nice. Well, my 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 menu is over here, so I messed up. So yeah, that was um good. All right, so let's see here. International manager. Okay, we see PK. Okay, let's see. Uh, Villarreal expressed interest in signing PK for twenty nine. I thought that he had already a deal for uh, forty one, and that's like super low. Like <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking, <laughs> honestly. Uh, we're going to reject that. Because, I mean, I do want to sell them, but Jesus. You know, this, this, that's way under value. So we're going to reject that offer. Way under value. All right. So, we're going to go. Oh, pff, damn. One thing that I didn't do, shit, and I always do, um, is to make a freaking reserve squad to train the guys but I won't do it in this run fuck it I'll just like straight up do it in the next uh, in the beginning of the season so before I go on stream I'll do it and that is to basically make another sheet for the team a reserve team where, where I'm gonna be putting basically every single player that is not in the first squad so that when I train them basically I'm alternating between the two so train, rest, train, rest, train, therefore 
your other players can at least have a little bit of form. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you'll have to, like right now, do it manually um, every single time. And it's just, you know, time consuming. So, um, okay, so the next game is basically right away. Um, let's see our money. We still got 56. We can't do anything since we bought Mar Martinez. Uh, basically almost took uh, about three quarters of our budget. Okay, so let's see here what we got. We got, I have sent you the final report on Dominic. Okay, so so this is the this is the player that you recommended, uh, Junior, right here. You got, oh, that's not bad, 23, 16, and, wow, okay. Nice, nice, 19 years old. And actually, you know what? He fits in the, my criteria. Um, I'm just going to delete this since I already got him over there on that list. That actually fits into my um, my plans over here for the board um, where I need to sign at least three players younger than 20. Um, I don't know his potential. Let me see real quick. Um, I'll tell you what the what he's looking like he is just like to go in there's uh, so many good websites footwiz I use footwiz to check out the career mode the players potentials and check out who they are and then I also like to use the one that I also shared earlier in this one and I was using the other one which is FIFA tracker and that one I use for budget like to find out the what the wages just kind of get a ballpark to how much I can give them on the trans on the negotiations so um, let's so see so we 77 cam oh man wow that's that's excellent there. So that's a 87. Very nice. Very nice. I I didn't think that he was going to be that high up there. Um, and yeah, so he fits um, he fits that criteria. I use footbin to some yeah, yeah, for sure. Footbin, I you definitely use footbin um, for ultimate team. I uh, I like to um look at that in uh, to look at also the top 100 players so if you are trying to upgrade your team like you could pick a card and then you'll be like okay what is the next upgrade for this guy like who's better than him you can do that it's really nice footbin is really nice too um, all right so we, we're gonna definitely he we, we got uh, real potential to go ahead and sign uh, Dominic over here. He's he, he seems like a good good player. Hopefully nobody will jump on in front of him and buy him. Okay, so PK PK has said PK his represent and his representative has agreed to personal terms. So he's gone. PK basically, uh yeah. So PK got sold. Fucking hey. All right, and then we have um Atletico PR sh uh, shows interest in. Conrad La Fuente for a loan deal with an option to buy. Okay. That's the one I had on the loan list, and I was kind of like, eh, I don't, but you know what? We're going to say, um, we're going to negotiate. We're going to say yes, and we're going to ask for at least a 1.5, and we're going to ask for 50% on the transfer. Um, I am going to mute the sound on the negotiations because it's a little background music basically gets copyrighted on YouTube so so I do that and it's nothing it's just like ambient sound they're so dumb I swear fucking YouTube every every minute they get they get they fucking copyright your shit negotiations yeah and of course we'll see how um, these guys turn out Twitch, because I know they change their shit around. Man, my shit's kind of glitchy today. My PC. 
I don't know why. I see a lot of frame rates. It's dropping. All right. We're going to accept. Uh, that sounds okay. We are going to two year loan. Damn. Let's try a one year loan. Well, I mean, not, not that I'm. Not that I mind. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do one year and we'll try 50 50. They don't do 50 50. It's fine. Because they already agreed on the uh, one year. Okay. So that's great. And then they want uh, 1, 1 1.8. So. That's again, that's really great for one year. Um, you know, not the two years because you know, his, his rating is going to go up, so uh, we're going to go accept. All right, so that's good. Now it's up to him whether he, whether he um, sells or not. Let's look at our budget real quick again. Okay, so we got 94 now, and we're on the cusp of probably getting Conte um, and uh, I won't I don't feel comfortable trying to go in there right now trying to get him because we only got 94 so um, we're gonna go and uh, yeah so I'm, I'm not feeling I'm not feeling particularly I lost last year I tried to get Zacharia in Man in uh, uh, Manchester United and I had the bare minimum, and I didn't make it. I, I didn't make it, so we got. I would say we got about 100, 100 million. So, all right. So, and, and that's only with one player. Two, with two players sold. No, one player sold. Yeah, one player sold. I think. Here, let's see. Search players. Transfer hub. What did we sell? Yeah, we haven't. We just basically. Um, well, why isn't it there? I thought I had another lesser. So who who I sold out? I um, I know. I think maybe here. On the office, um, there was an area of transactions. Like, oh yeah, right here. Okay, so yeah, PK is the only one we sold. So right now, and and Martinez we bought. So those two. Um, yep. So we're good. All right. So we're good to play the next game. And this is a team from from Beijing. Or from the uh, Chinese league, and there we go. All right, Let's play this match. Let's see how we go. So this should, this should. I'm not sure how good that the other team is. And I did it again. I didn't take the Busquet out. <laughs> A bit slow there. All right, <laughs> we're gonna do that the next time. I'll learn eventually. Kind of testing them out, see how they move. Oh really? I didn't. I didn't know that. Hey, talking about new cards. When are we getting the uh, the Beckham Beckham card? When are we getting that? 
Yeah, I thought we were we were supposed to get freaking Beckham now here sometime in uh, December. <clears throat> Oh my god. That was so good. The fact that I saw Coutinho, he, he came out of fucking nowhere right there. Oh, January 5th? Holy shit. No way. Jesus. That's a while. I was wrong. I wonder how that card's gonna be. Oh shit. Oh man. Oh, that was nasty. You can tell automatically. It's like, dude, you're going to be off size. There you go. Damn. Damn, the opening goal. Yeah, 88. 88 pace. Oh. That's, that's decent. 88. I wonder what his shooting is. You know? If he's got 88 pace, he's got to have like fucking like, I don't know, like 89, 90. 90 shooting. Oh, so close. You know, I've been neglecting Messi on that side. And that's that's the, also one reason why I'm not too sad if I, if, oh shit. There we go. I'm not too sad if I actually sell him because I don't play wide. So unless Messi goes in, I guess I could put him as a striker. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. See how good Messi is would be if I just utilize them with just trying to see mm. you know I gotta tell you I really like using them 
I really like him on the team. What if Man City asked me for like, you know, they offer me like 300 or 500 million euros. <laughs> I'll be like, yes. You can have them. Oh, shit. Damn. Sergio Roberto killing it. Oh, my goodness. Lautaro, he's just so fucking good. He's fast. He's uh, controlled. 81. What? Oh my god, 75 pace, 81 shooting? Yeah, that's a, that's a sub. <laughs> that's a sub for sure. Damn, I didn't think they was going to be that low. To be honest. Damn, what is this, his uh, work rate? He's mad tired. I'm going to have to get that cam. Um, yeah. I think after I get a good uh that good center defensive mid, we're gonna get that cam. And we're gonna put him in here with Coutinho. Just to train him up. Um Yeah, we're go we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take out um Let me see what I'm gonna do here. I, wanna, I don't. I don't want to leave Martinez, but I want to take Coutinho out too. Um, so I can leave Messi in. Ah, okay. I gotcha. Gotcha. Now that makes. Yeah, I. I that makes a little bit more sense now. So okay. So I'm gonna put Trincao over here because he's also cam. And then I'm going to take Griezmann, put him in here. I'm going to put him in there. And we're going to put in Ansu Fati again. Yeah, this shit's fucked up because right now they got Neto in here as a goalkeeper. And I don't like to keep goalkeepers as subs. So well, that's because P PK. We sold PK. So, we yeah, we got, our, we got a little bit of work to do. Yeah, those kind of things, though, those kind of little small changes, I like to try to do those offline so I don't take up a lot of time. Um, although I understand that that's, oh, shit, off size. That's part of the fun, too, watching career mode, looking at someone do all that shit, too. So. Messi, oh, my God. That was insane. That was so... Damn. That was good. You can tell. Man, I was <laughs> like, where the hell are you taking that ball? All right. Messi, come back, man. That's going to be off size. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh yeah, you started playing foot more. Yeah, plus also you like to see me you see you like to see me lose. <laughs> and that's fucked up. <laughs> and, and you know me. I do have a good uh lo a good losing rate. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah. Yeah, since I since I started doing those seasons, I I haven't I haven't played foot that much. I mean, I still get in there. But you know, it's, it's so it's so crazy cuz when you have a good game, you know that you like to play, but there's like multiple modes. You know like damn, I, I like fucking FIFA, but I like to play uh, that thing that's offsize. Yeah. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's really enjoy. I like FIFA. I like career mode. I like foot. So, you know, like literally, I'm like fucking fighting for whip mode to play. You know, and I wish I could say like, well, in the daytime I'll play, I'll play career mode, and at, at nighttime I'll play foot. You know, or like vice versa. Um. Oh my God. Um. Then they're like, okay, well, I need to sleep and work. <laughs> I'm like, you know, so. And then and then you got Cyberpunk 2077 coming up. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Yeah, I haven't tried Pro Club at all. I wonder, I wonder how that that plays. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard. Uh, I I heard it's good though. A lot of um, whenever I do um, there's this one group, Junior. You should join. Um, it's a, uh, it's a Discord group. Oh wait a minute, cause I'm not sure you're in. I'm not sure whether it doesn't matter if you're on PC, Xbox, or anything. No, 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 it's a, uh, the channel, is, it's a Discord channel that's basically to be able to co-op in foot. Because you know how hard that is. If you, if you don't have anybody on your list, a friends list, oh shit, Griezmann, um, to be able to, to play with somebody, co-op, to finish the objectives, that's a little challenging sometimes. So I found this really cool um, group. Yeah, yeah, you, you'll be able to do it. You'll be able to join them because uh, all you got to do is like basically give them, you know, in the Discord channel. You get, you tell them like, hey, I'm on PS4 and this is my ID. And then <clears throat> next thing you know, you'll get like, you know, you'll get a request for friends for FIFA. <clears throat> and then after that, man, it's real easy to co-op. You know, and yeah, man, I've co-op with people all over, like, you know, um, people from Egypt, uh, a guy, you know, I got not all kinds of people from, but like, you know, a guy from Egypt, guy from Singapore, <coughs> you know, the UK, um, that's nice. And, uh, yeah, and it's cool, you know, because they share and pro club, I guess. Oh my God. now I gotta concentrate <laughs> oh that was off size thank you Jesus <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah for for co-op at least for foot I'm like, please don't start singing. <laughs> so I'll get, I'll get copyrighted. <laughs> the audience, it's like, don't don't start singing a good tune. All right, well, this game's been really strange. One zero. Um, I need to score. Yeah, I feel like maybe I'm not doing enough. Let's concentrate right here on this drive. Let's see. Messi. Oh. 
Um, to be honest, I don't know, man. I'm gonna. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm gonna. I want to play. I want to play. Um. So I might have to pause it here in a second. It's right here. I think my dog is gonna go crazy. Um. I definitely want to play the cyberpunk and I want to play online but I'll also do the the episodes so I'll do I'll, I'll do I'll share the time both I'll do both yeah if I stop the game or pause the game abruptly it's because I got company so I might have to put you know there's gonna be someone in the house real quick so yep I'm gonna pause it real quick um I'll be right back, okay? Oh, one second. All right, so yeah, so, all right, so we're back. Everything's good now. So I actually thought that, yeah, so maybe uh, what I'm going to do, basically, I'm going to try to multi, you know, just run two, two games. I can do it. I can do it. I won't be able to stream, uh, you know, uh, career mode for four to, you know, four to five hours, but I can do two hours. I could probably do two hours each, you know. 
I think that's a, that's a happy medium, you know, with the streaming. So, um, so yeah. All right, and let me look at the volume here. Yeah, everything everything's good here. All right. So, I don't know for some reason. Um, I'm sorry, guys, that I have to kind of put, you know, look at this real quick. For some reason, like, my frame rates are, like, ridiculously on the stream. For some reason, it's like, I don't know what's going on. It's just, like, really, really slow. Um, my numbers, I'm looking at the drop, how many frame rates are getting dropped and so forth. And it's just a big, big... Uh, yeah, it's just not, uh, it's a little different, you know, maybe it's because it's day, uh, you know, maybe that's what it is. All right. All right. So we got, oh my goodness, the freaking work rate on this guy is a freaking, look at this. Pian, Pianic is freaking, what is his? What is his level right here? We, he's, he's at he's at forty percent right now, and I I can't sub him out. I don't think I can sub anybody out right now. Oh, I can. Okay, so I could do him. Okay, so oh yeah yes that's right five I could do five players in the beginning of the the season in the that the tournament that you do in the beginning so yeah i could do five that's ridiculously low though you know um i'm definitely gonna have some problems in the the rest of the season all right so that was a yeah man I can't. I can't believe he got so tired. Forty. He only played one game. He's not. He's not like I've been killing him or using him a whole lot. And he's at forty percent in, in uh, one match. So that means that if I play consistently throughout the season and I get like three games in one week or two games in one week, uh, I'm not. He's not going to be able to keep up. All right, so let's see. The, all right, so we got some not notifications here. We got uh, De La Fuente loan offer. We got, let's see, Notton Forest showed interest in him on a loan deal. And I think we already agreed um, with him on the other one. So this is going to be a reject because I basically said uh, I already agreed with the other team. And we have some money from the tournament. We got for where we at right now. We got three million. Uh, so let's see. I delete that. Okay. And we're gonna go to the team sheet real quick. We're gonna take a Busquet at a center defensive mid, and we're gonna put. Um, I wanted to put Piatek, but look at how tired he is right now. And Cam. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna move some players around here. We're gonna put another put a, another defensive mid here. Let's see who else we can put in here. Um, uh, looks like almost like it's time for us to freaking buy that center defensive mid. We're gonna put him here, and then we'll move this guy down. All right, so Neto is down there, and we have a. I forgot we have Busquet in here, although I don't want to use him. Um, let's do something, Cam. Oh, what about this? All right, so Minguesa, and also I got Minguesa here because he could play the three spots. All right, um, 
we're going to see how they're going to do in this next, uh, I don't think we have any training that we're doing. All right, so we're not doing any training, Matt, but um, I'm sure they're going to be pretty tired. Let's see, for Fernandez, the position changed already, so we're going to go in there and confirm in the development. So we did change him to a center defensive mid, and we're going to go Y. And basically here we're going to go with a defensive midfielder for development so we can upgrade his, upgrade his uh, work rate to high from medium. And um, all right, I'll delete this. All right, so let's see, point also finish. I think this one was a cam. I changed them to a cam. And his his attacking work rate is uh, is already good, and his defensive work rate. So you want it high and medium. And we're gonna change uh, his. Let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna go. It's gonna be a cam. So twelve weeks. We're gonna upgrade his. Uh, oops. Ten. I gotta go back into the menu. Where he's at? Where is he at? Cam. Development. I always want to try to do either upgrade the skill moves or the weak foot, um, but also upgrade the pace. So we'll do. You know what? We'll do Dynamo. Or let's see, advanced striker. No, no, we'll keep we'll keep it like this. Advanced playmaker, we'll keep it Dynamo. Okay. So that's that, and it looks like, uh, yeah, it they, he looks a bit tired, but um, I can start off with Busquets, you know, and then sub him in. Uh, so that's that's not a that's not an issue. All right, so in this game, we're going against Juve. So we definitely need to uh, step it up on the defense. There we go. And what, okay, so they got that pink. Semi-final already. Wow. Well, the group stage is over, Derek. Down to just four teams now. It's been a good tournament, hasn't it? Great preparation right. for the season ahead. I'm sure both teams are looking to cap it off with a final in the next few days. This is what we expect from the Blagrana. Mark and Reiter Stegen starts in goal. Clément Langlais plays alongside Samuel Umtiti in the middle of the defence and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. This is what they'll be facing today. Gigi Buffon gets the nod in goal. Danilo starts with Alexandro as fullbacks. And the front pair, Cristiano Ronaldo, starts with Morata. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, shit. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. We're getting right oh on top God. of their opponents and winning it back. A goal! No, I didn't see it. Well, here's the goal again, and he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket pick, right in front of schoolboy stuff. I will, I'll look at him. I haven't, I didn't, I didn't see what is uh, in foot. Well, back underway, and that should really shake well, up. I mean, he wasn't that was high there. to begin with, but he was kind of like the meta. And, uh, I'm. 
if you're talking about foot then yeah I mean I think it mainly dropped because of the fact that you got so many other other good cards you know for the season well, the defending not the best here and stopping out the danger Weston McKenney Alexandro now okay hold on I gotta concentrate on this one he's like 10k holy shit okay hold on Can't. defending from Busquets making excellent progress with the ball at his feet and he's through here oh my god oh, talking about Dembele shit well it looks so threatening but the danger averted damn Weston McKenney almost made the goal I can't believe he's 10k he used to be like 40 pitch. I think he was 40, right? About 40k. Tremendous challenge. So 17 three weeks ago, and not long before that, he was. I want to say 40. The box. Superbly read and executed. Coutinho. Beautifully weighted ball. Busquets. Now Busquets. Nicely timed tackle. Damn. Alexandro. Weston McKenney. And there to intervene. Coutinho. Quadrado. Ball with Danilo. Quadrado. A meaty but fair challenge, yeah. and it will be a throw-in. Man, I gotta, I gotta square this up. Robbed them. Well, Already losing 1-0. Danilo. He's in here. Damn. He's not the fastest player. Bentancur. Quadrado. Danilo. Oh, nice ball. Plays it back. No worries for the keeper. Mm, that's a good right back, too. Quadrado. Really good. Jordi Alba. If I had money on the club, I would buy him. But I can't afford it. Messi. Martinez. And now Coutinho. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Morata. Oh my goodness. That was, I don't know. That should have been Alexandra. a foul. McKenny. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. I tell you what, this is gonna be An a tough game, now and we need to win it because it's a semi-final. And I feel like I'm gonna have to move somebody. Probably Messi. I'm gonna move him in the middle. Yeah. Hold on a second. We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do some changes here. Messi is going to go have to go to the front. And Coutinho is going to have to go here because he plays left. He can play left too. And we're going to put Dembele on the other side. Possession given away, unfortunately. We'll see how that we'll see how that it turns out. Bentancur Attack continues. They're making considerable progress. De Jong. Okay, so we, that now change has already took effect because you can see Messi right in the middle. Martinez. Oh, oh, well he's it away. off size. Danilo. Trailing as they are. 
will be the thinking and the camp as you see it, Lee. Well, Barcelona find themselves still very much in this game. Such fine margins between success and failure at this level. They need to stick to the game plan and hope it turns around in the second half. It's a good looking ball in behind. Oh, Goalkeeper's ball and was always going to be. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here. Man. Let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to put in uh, Magic here. Griezmann, 74, 79, 79, 72. You know what? We're going to put Griezmann on this side right here. There we go. Change things a little bit. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. <laughs> the heck? And a strong tackle. MTT. And now this is Longley. Janic, Frankie de Jong, well they keep working away looking for an opening, Weston McKinney, well, trying to find an opening but about this. It they, they had a pretty, pretty locked down. Well, Derek, an estimated... And is at the moment for Morata. And a marvellous save. Well, his reflex is there. Man. Absolutely spot on. That's why they work so hard in training goalkeepers. Incredible. To pull saves off like that. Crucial intervention just then. And made impending danger. Well read to ease the pressure. And the emphasis is on creativity. Must be. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, nothing comes of it. De Jong. And he read it superbly. Just giving the ball away. And the pass in the general direction of Ronaldo. Good defending to prevent the chance. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. <laughs> they will oh now make my use goodness. of their substitutes bench. Side, unfortunately. Can't start the game like this. How much? How many millions I'm gonna lose? That's like Messi. at least a player Martinez. that I can get if I don't win this. Dembele. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equalizer. De Jong. So they had attacking momentum, but not so. Dybala. What? Man, what are you doing? There we go. Well, we got it. We got this. Offside. Offside Come on. We're going we're gonna to step this up. So we're going to go up now. to attacking, which is going to be basically moving up our center defensive net. Frankie de Jong. Um, Janic now. I think... It's a good compromise. I'm not losing too much. Um, but yeah, we got to score. Alexandro now. has it. I gotta tell you, our center, our, our center mid, we we don't we're we're lacking. We're lacking good defense. Oh my goodness. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Dybala. They couldn't maintain possession. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Well, getting the ball forward. They oh regain God. possession. What a freaking game. Kedira. Quadrado. Got a team press. Cristiano Ronaldo. Got a team press. Quadrado. Oh my goodness. And a goal two and now. Damn shame. We're gonna have to go ultra attacking here. here. We can do it. You know, they're pressing. I gotta tell you, this is a good show whether we can. Yes! Yes! Whether we can do the Europa champion. The UEFA Champions League. The damage is started with a beauty of a through ball, but you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. Well, foul oh, play, man. says the referee. Dibala. Come on, man. On the ball, Mary Demiral. Wow. Now Kadira. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Ronaldo! Competence from the keeper. Yeah, concentration for goalkeepers. He was spot on there. We got 80th minute. We can tie this. This is terrific. some bullshit. How the heck? I swear. Fucking Ronaldo jumps like 20 foot up in the air and fucking gets a header. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room. How? He stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. <laughs> so there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. There goes our chances. To win the game. I'm still not gonna. Oh my goodness! Real chance. <laughs> Can he convert? And a goal! If there were any remaining doubt, that will settle the issue. <laughs> this kind of went south well, real we'll quickly. Again, what they always say: focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish! Kind of went south real quick. Well, if there were. Of just five minutes left. Kadira. Artur. Uh, potential danger. Damn. Will he play it in? Using his strength to shield the can't ball. Even, we can't even get the ball off our end. Well, three minutes of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And just slightly offside. Federico Chiesa. Beautifully timed. Wasteful from the Blaugrana. A free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. De Jong. 
Pjanic. There's the referee's whistle, and it is official now. The visitors are on the way to the final. Well, it was such a dominant performance from start to finish. They really did. sucked well who would go up it would be Arsenal against uh, Juve in that little tournament and let's see what much we got we got four four million in that one and basically we all agree it's unfortunate that we didn't reach the final on the Asian Elite Cup the most important thing though is that the team is fit ready to start the new season we are still we still have very confident um, all right so so that's some bullshit all right so the calendar looks like we got two weeks of training I swear Juve well that's the that's my first Juve defeat um, I think you had you played against them and you they 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 smoked you right so yeah that's the first time i played against them they they play they play strong so and uh so in about a month time because we got two weeks here and then we have uh, another two weeks then we will start our season so I am not going to play the game this because uh, obviously I'm going to be buying and selling some players. But this is a good stopping point because this is actually the beginning of the first season of the beginning of the season. So I'm going to I'm going to end it here. OK, and then I'll continue. I'll, um, continue um, in the next one, which will probably be uh, tomorrow. Because definitely not tonight. Because we got Cyberpunk 2077 tonight. So, uh, alright. So, guys, thank you for watching. Alright, take care.